Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for June 23rd, 2021. My goodness, this month is going fast. And we have had quite the, um, well, quite the challenging market with lots of volatility. Um, yesterday, we saw the NASDAQ hit new record highs and technicals in those charts have improved substantially. But how about we grab ourselves something to drink, maybe settle into our office chairs, buckle up and let's get ready for the hump day edition of the Morning Market Prep video. So good morning once again, everyone. Thank you so much for being here today and thank you so much for all of your kind support to the content of the channel. You know, I get up at 5 a.m. every day to put the morning blog together and um, get the morning video out. And I gotta tell you, um, it's very, very rewarding to see all the kind comments and things uh, to the channel. I truly, truly appreciate it. Um, thank you so much for supporting the effort. Let's take a look here and see if we can gain some information about how we might want to approach the market for today. Let's take a look at this Dow. Now, we've talked about this before, how the Dow has kind of, we broke that um, upside trend here in the Dow. And though we've been rallying up substantially, as a matter of fact, rallied up about over 670 points in just two, well, off of Friday's low in just two trading days, we have to keep in mind that we do have resistance above it uh, in here in the chart. So we broke through that little level right there. We popped right on through, but we still have this area right in here that could challenge um, um, the Dow um, in being able to move higher. So watch that closely today. Now we have to keep also keep in mind that we're still below our 50 day moving average. And notice that our short term averages, and I, you don't have to use the same averages that I use, but the short term averages are crossing down. And notice that our 50 day moving average here on the Dow is starting to flatten out um, that's not a good sign for us. And as we rally back up here, we want to watch this closely and carefully for that possibility that we could bump our head here and turn lower. Now, I'm not suggesting that that means that we're going to make a new low. I don't know that to be true, but we do want to watch that possibility of a turn lower. So one of the things I want to remind everyone of that after having such a substantial surge in um, upside here in the market, you'll want to uh, remember that it may be a good, good reason to take some profits um, as we approach some of these overhead resistance levels. Now, having said that, let's take a look at the, at the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is the strongest while the dow is the weakest the nasdaq is the strongest big tech it's really kind of remarkable to me in um in an inflationary environment that we're seeing the index with probably the most risk of trouble because of infl inflation hitting new record highs and as you can see plowing right on through here new record yesterday just really showing lots of strength um, in that chart as if nothing um, is here to be worried about. And even in the light of all of the new antitrust probes and Congress getting started on discussion of new antitrust legislation that's going to impact um, the big techs, they are the majority of the lift of the market. As a matter of fact, if you take a look at the S&P 500, it was largely the big tech giants that did most of the lifting in the Dow. Um, uh, Microsoft yesterday, um, as a matter of fact, briefly touched a two trillion uh, market cap, one of the few in the market to have made that occur. So a um, lot of bullishness in these big techs. Let's take a look 
um, at that QQQ chart once again. And notice that we have a beautiful upside trend. We broke through resistance. We're well above our 50 day moving average. There's nothing in this chart that shows bearishness in, in any way, shape or form um, at this point. So all bulls in um, the QQQ. Now let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY is an interesting dynamic that we have in the market is we have added so many of the big tech giants to the SPY that the SPY can actually rally even though the majority of the stocks in the SPY are going down and that was exactly what happened yesterday. Uh, we had um, uh, more than half of the S&P 500 um, kind of sliding sideways to down yesterday while the SPY continued to push to the upside and that's largely because we have such a massive um, um, concentration of big tech here that encompasses 40%. Seven companies um, have 40% of the weight of the SPY. And so we push up those seven companies and by golly, look at there, we have the S&P 500 rallying even though a lot of the stocks continue to languish. So one of the things I am concerned about is the lack of overall momentum here in the SPY. But we are within striking distance of a new record high, and there's no reason to believe why we couldn't push on through to that new record high. Kind of keep in mind here, what I've drawn is kind of that double whammy situation right in here, where we could be running into um, price resistance of the overhead and that trend break. Um, so watch that closely as we attempt to push on through here today, even though we're a little bit flat this morning. Um, I wouldn't rule out the possibility that institutions aren't going to do everything possible to hit a new record high here to gain those gain those um, headlines and attract more folks to the market. Let's take a look at IWM. Now IWM is still showing just a little bit of a challenge. We are back above our 50 day moving average, which is um, a really good thing, back above that 50 day moving average, but we still have significant resistance in this chart. And IWM has been languishing in this really long term flat trading pattern anyway. So um, it may be a little bit of a struggle as we run up here to test these levels. Um, remember, we have surged a lot in just two days on this bounce back. And we can't rule out the possibility that, that there could be a little bit of profit taking coming in here at any time. So watch these levels carefully as we approach them. Then let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX, you would think that um, hitting new record highs in the market and pressing for new record highs um, in several of the indexes, we um, didn't break to a new low here in the VIX. However, we did see a nice substantial pullback. So as long as the fear continues to drop out, you've got to give that up to the bulls um, in the chart. But you would think that we would be hitting so new lows at, at here in the VIX as we hit new highs in the market. That's not the case yet. Perhaps we just need it, you know, the SPY to push on through to make that occur. So watch that closely. What we don't want to see is we don't want to see um, a little bit of profit taking or that pushback here that could hold this level. Um, remember, I, I have said this before, we break a downtrend, that's a great thing. Um, you know, in the market itself. But in the VIX, we break that that trend to the upside and we hold support here. That can be a little bit problematic if those bears were to re-engage and push back in. So watch that closely. The other thing I worry about just a little bit um, is that we might become be becoming just a little bit complacent in the market, thinking that um, there's no chance of a major sell-off. Um, I would be a little bit careful with that thinking and always be on my toes and watching for that possibility. Um, keep in mind, this is the longest bull run in market history. There will eventually be a correction. Don't know when that might be. Heck, it might not be for another year or two, but we want to be on our toes and be prepared for it because it can be pretty painful when that swing occurs and you're you're kind of being complacent and over trading. So watch that close. Then let's take a look at our T. 
21.22. Now the T21.22 is a four week new high, new low ratio. And notice that we went from a bearish um, reversal zone here. Um, and in two trading days, we're pushing up here toward the bullish reversal zone. However, it was interesting yesterday, even with the lift that we saw in the market, notice the T21.22 just kind of went flat. And that's important to note. And the reason that occurred is, once again, I will mention that the, the vast majority of the stocks in the S&P 500 were flat to moving down. So we had big tech pushing up that S&P 500. So while we got the impression that everything was bullish and the all clear had been sounded, um, there's still evidence out there of a little bit of pressure or a little bit of uncertainty um, in the market. So that kept T2122 in check. Now what that means is we still have upside opportunity. If we can find some bullish energy here, we can push on through to the upside. Um, so watch that closely. There is um, that opportunity here. And we also know that T2122 doesn't tell us direction. It just tells us where the pressures might be. Um, we have a pretty good size opening to the downside as well. So just keep a close eye on that. And then let's take a look at our T2101. And although we had just a modest improvement here yesterday um, in T2101, we're still um, running in this major downtrend here in the chart. We're not getting a whole lot of momentum across the board um, in the market. So keep a close eye on that. Again, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but it is a bit perplexing that we can't get energy to really push through on any of these waves of movement, which kind of lends itself to that idea of maybe some complacency. So just kind of keep a close eye on that. Let's take a look at our economic calendar for today. Now our economic calendar is going to have some busyness here this morning. We're going to hear from uh, PMI Composite. By the way, uh, PMI in um, Europe came in uh, very strong, uh, the strongest in two years. And the UK is kind of sounding the alarm um, as well of high inflation. And um, we're seeing European markets pretty flat to mostly lower um, here this morning because of those inflationary fears. Now we're gonna get our PMI number this morning and um, we'll have to see if that comes in hotter than expected. Um, we'll wanna watch that closely because it is possible that um, we could also kind of start creeping up on inflationary fears as well that our economy may be overheating. We'll see how that number comes in and how we react to it. And then we have new home sales. Of course, home sales are gonna be very, very important. We've seen those slip just a little bit, but expectations for this number is they're gonna tick back higher just a bit. So keep an eye on those new home sales. And then of course, petroleum status. That will um, tell us a lot about about um, oil sector stocks and, and those energy sector stocks have surged back hard the last couple of days. If that number comes in supporting that, we could continue to see those pushing to the upside and that in, in the inflationary pressures continuing to help push um, the, that sector higher. So watch that close. And then kind of keep in mind that we've just got, you know, uh, Fed speakers um, all the time anymore. It seems like they can't shut up. They're just out there yakking all the time. So um, keep an eye on those because they can move things around. Then I want you to make note that tomorrow, plan your day carefully as we run into the close. Tomorrow we have durable goods, GDP, industrial productions, and jobless claims. So we have a busy morning tomorrow we could see some volatility in that market tomorrow morning so plan your risk carefully as you head into tomorrow so let's take a look at our um, earnings calendar now today we have a little bit more on that earnings calendar we have um, a total of nine companies listed on the calendar with um, just a a couple of them that are not uh, verified reports, but we have a couple extra notables here today. Take a look at FUL. 
Fuller will be reporting today. We'll want to keep an eye on this chart. We've been holding in here on a price support and obviously we have some price resistance in this chart to be watching. Uh, we've been in this trading range. Looks like we're trying to get bullish here this morning um, on that report. So keep an eye on FUL. INFO uh, is on that list for today. INFO nice pop here this morning a little pop and drop going on in the pre-market gapping up on its earnings report this has been a nice upside trend broke through resistance here a uh, very nice chart any rest or pullback could set up an opportunity in that trade uh pdco is another one that we might want to keep an eye on today oh my goodness um pdco fell out of bed here this morning um this medical device um uh, company healthcare provider um, ugly ugly candle here today oh my goodness um, uh, watch this price support down in here as this pulls back that that's a pretty ugly report and then WGO the old Winnebago Winnebago little pop and drop on the morning here pressing up into some price resistance we've been in a current downtrend here as you can see in that chart watching that closely now um, RVs have just really spiked up um, so I'm kind of surprised honestly to see Winnebago um, uh, not doing so well a lot of folks been out buying RVs um, um uh, enjoying the camping um so they don't have to be around other folks in their travel as worries of coronavirus continue to extend i guess so watch that closely then let's take a look guys at some stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that just real quickly if you could do me a favor if you could click that subscribe button on youtube click that bell icon when it pops up and make sure you smash that like button and continue to drop those comments the more engagement in these videos the more times uh, the algorithm shows the videos to more folks and i just want to say thank you to everyone it takes time to do that and thank you so much to those folks that um, continue to support the channel through buy me a coffee link um, you'll find that right below the title of this video you guys you guys are awesome and um, thank you so much let's take a look at um, some of these stocks that could be setting up for today and remember that these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security as a matter of fact you want to be a um, do your own due diligence you want to look at these charts carefully and make sure you evaluate the risk and always remember you never want to blindly follow someone else's trade thoughts or trade ideas because they have a bias i have a bias on trades that i think could be setting up so make sure you're doing your own due diligence let's take a look um, one chart that really started to perk up at the end of the day yesterday and i've been talking about this one for a while is a box that possibility that this could finally get some engagement here push on through i wouldn't hold my breath it's been in a nice tight consolidation here for some time um, and could certainly remain there but i like this uh, nice little pop that we had at the end of the day if that can push on through box might um, look pretty darn good now as you guys know um, i have been um, mentioning um, fubo fubo as a nice chart and it followed through to the upside yesterday and i ended up taking my profits on this trade i had a really nice gain in the position i had sold a covered call position against it and uh, on the pullback yesterday was taking some profits on that as well so um, I got out of this trade because it's a high volatility trade. Now what I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be watching for the next entry in this position. It's a high volatility stock and just because the market has surged so much I wanted to make sure that I was taking some profits putting some money in the, the old account and so this one was the one that fell subject to that yesterday. Grab some gains here but I don't think there's anything wrong with this chart. 
Watch this closely. There may be another entry just around the corner. Keep a close eye on it. Nice looking chart. I've mentioned space several times and space got it its act together yesterday and really started to push up. Keep an eye on that nice little trending move. Um, we held this support area, buyer stepping in, pushing on higher. Now, I can't rule out that possibility that this could pull back and back and fill a little more, but watch this chart carefully. Space seems to have that, um, that energy right now to get moving, so watch that one closely. I think you also might want to keep an eye on NKLA. There was a um, interesting surge in this yesterday, pushing back up. Notice we've been kind of struggling along here, but now we've moved out here and we're engaging this trend. Nice little pop here if that follows through and it looks like it's trying to this morning. Don't rule out the possibility that we, if we pop that big in a move that we could rest a little bit more before it continues on higher. But keep an eye on NKLA. Nice looking chart. I also have to mention NIO. Um, NIO, nice chart. It is tempt, attempting to set up in this area. And yesterday it tried to pop just a little bit, ended up pulling back. And we're out here in this area where we're going to engage this trend um, at any time. We could um, either um, respond bullishly or bearishly to that trend, but let's watch that close. The other thing I like about this chart is that we're holding above this price support. So we just need that bullishness to come in here. Um, NIO could push back up off of that level. So watch that closely. You guys know that I've been keeping an eye on Peloton and mentioned it yesterday in the report. Peloton's been bouncing around in here and I suggested that what I want at this point, because we've attempted to break through this level several times and failed. I said, I think what I'm going to be waiting for now at this point is for this to break on through, pop through, and prove that it can hold this area as support. So now that it's popped through, I'll be watching this for any little rest or pullback, looking for that low risk entry opportunity maybe into Peloton. Keep an eye on that. Looking pretty good as a chart. I think we should be keeping an eye on um, TAN, the solar ETF. This is a nice little trading pattern, breaking its downtrend here, as you can see, rallying through some resistance and then holding it as support. Watch for that next little bullish surge that could pop this through and continue to, to extend um, TAN to the upside. Watch that one closely. Um, you guys know that I've been mentioning um, iHeart here for a while. iHeart continuing to extend up. Now this thing has terrible options. This is a stock trade, but a beautiful upside move here in uh, uh, iHeart as it continues to extend to the upside. And there's no reason to believe in this chart right now that it, that's not going to continue. So keep a close eye on that. Then of course, I have mentioned uh, Microsoft and Apple here recently as potential buys. Um, Microsoft now reaching out to new record highs in that chart. Um, I think at this point, I would want to wait for a little rest or consolidation, a pullback, see if we can come back and engage this trend in here and look for the next entry into that trade. If we take a look at Apple, I'm going to suggest kind of the same thing. We've pushed up here into some price resistance here in Apple. I would probably wait for this to either pop through and then provide proof that it's going to hold up here, slide sideways maybe, re-engage over here on this trend, and then have that opportunity to find that entry into the chart. So uh, maybe give that one a little bit of a pause here and let it settle down just a little bit. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day in your trading. I want to wish you great results. Everyone, take care. Be safe out there. Watch these resistance levels in these index charts just in case those bears are might be lining up to defend up here. Watch that carefully. Have a good one, and we'll see you right back here, bright and early Thursday morning.